Hey guys, it's Andy. Real quick, make sure to watch until the end uh, so you can learn from a stupid thing I did that may have almost actually killed me here today. Hello everybody, it's Andy and let me get you caught up on my trip. So, uh, last time you saw me, I was flying American Airlines business class and I'll post a link to that video up above. And since then I've been driving really all around Central Europe. I drove in Austria to a little town called St. Gilgen, where it was rainy. Then yesterday, drove into the central part of Slovenia to the capital town called uh, Ljubljana, Ljubljana, where it was raining. So I decided to keep going south until I got to a place I've always wanted to go to. So I'm in Croatia, which I've never been to before. A very special part of Croatia. It's called Plitvica Lakes National Park. And uh, this is my first time seeing the waterfalls and the lake. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> So not only is it not raining, but it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to go walk around the park for a little bit, show you some sights, take some pictures, and really make this worth it because I have a long drive back tomorrow and I don't even know where I'm going to. So let's, uh, let's explore the park. I'm certainly not the only one at the park today. It's like a good mix of like winter wonderland, but it's like 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so it's actually getting quite warm. <laughs> it's like a good mix of spring and winter. You see people are trying to take pictures and or provide entertainment for people like us. <laughs> So in a place like this, uh, all, what I'm trying to do is I'm constantly walking around trying to keep my head on a swivel because we have a lot of great light coming in directionally from the sun, which is right over there. I'm always trying to find good compositions. Um, with the amount of snow that we have, we uh, may go black and white for this one. So yeah, I, I think this one's going to be perfect. So I have this tree right here and this tree right here. They both frame up this little stream. So. Although there will be more streams, I think this is going to be a really good picture. I'm really just playing this all by ear. I have no idea where I'm going. Just along the trail and looking for pictures. Which is really one of the things that I love about photography. It trains you how to see the world differently. Anyways, I wanted to give you some history about the area. Uh, this place, Plavice Lakes, is a symbol of Croatia and it has a you know beautiful past it's ancient in history but unfortunately I think just uh, tomorrow will be 17 years ago there was a battle here uh, that was really close to the beginning of the Croatian war for independence uh, from I guess Yugoslavia had fallen uh, the Soviet Union had fallen and so all of the former states of Yugoslavia were fighting for independence and Croatia was one of those and so there was a big battle here uh, between I want to say the, the Croatians and then an element of like the Serbian and Bosnian police if I get that wrong please don't hammer me in the comments I'm just trying to remember what I read uh, last night one person on either side died a lot of people were wounded and it really escalated tensions in that conflict so like a lot of places in the world you're you're never far from conflict you're never far from tragedy even in a place as beautiful 
as Plitvice Lakes National Park. Okay, so aside from making you feel like you have the pee, these little <laughs> drainage things right here can be really, really good for compositional elements. So what I'm gonna do is get over on the side here, and I'm gonna shoot past this, and I'll grab this stick and some of those leaves. It's, uh, the color isn't great, but it may make for a really good black and white shot. So let's see how this goes. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. You hear that? Waterfalls. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Look at this. So here's a good shot. I think if you look right here and then right here, I love the shots where you can see what nature has done and what man has done, either for better or for worse. So this should be a really cool composition. So, that was one of the best moments of my life. That is absolutely unbelievable. And there, it's gonna get better. I'm gonna keep walking around the park, but I'm gonna wait for the sun to go back down behind that hill and come back to this area to get some more pictures when the sky isn't so blown out because, oh my gosh. It, it, I hope I'm doing a good job of showing you how this feels because it's, it takes my breath away. It, it makes me with speechless, which is a feat in and of itself. It's, it's just amazing. All right, so I took a little break because I've walked like six miles already today. Uh, took a little break and was just kind of walking around, killing some time until the sun gets a little bit lower in the sky. But then, lo and behold, what do I hear around this corner? More waterfalls. Okay, sorry to interrupt everything. Um, I always tell you guys I'm gonna share the good and the bad with you so I don't want you to have this false assumption that everything always goes super well on my trips uh, today um, <laughs> I made a huge mistake I was frustrated that the Sun kept getting in my view so I wanted to go high up on a hill and look down at a waterfall to get a really good shot. So I uh, I went up this trail. I made it to the tr to the top of the trail, but it wasn't quite the vantage point that I wanted to. So I went off the trail and uh, was okay. Made it to a clearing. Didn't really quite have the view that I wanted, so I tried to go up to another clearing and uh, lost my footing and slid slash rolled down 
I'm gonna say about a 400 foot hill uh, by a legit miracle of God not only did I survive um, because there are so many downed trees that are hidden by that snow so as I was rolling down the hill I could feel my feet I was trying to stop myself I could feel them grasping on these hidden logs I mean I could have very easily broken my leg or broken a femur or something so, but by miracle of God I lived made it to the bottom of the hill which is on the shore of one of the lakes here but that wasn't the trail because most of the trail is underwater right now so I had to climb up about a 50 foot basically cliff and if I would have lost my footing then it would have been a very serious situation another miracle of God I made it up that cliff and finally found the trail and I'm back to where I took that first picture today of the river with those trees framing it I'm walking under my own power I think everything is okay uh, ripped the shreds out of my jeans that's okay, jeans can be replaced. Um, my camera gear survived, which is also good. Camera gear can be replaced. Um, but I'm just happy and thankful right now that, A, this place is beautiful. But I'm really thankful that I got to text my mom and tell her I was okay. And once I make it back to the hotel, I'm excited that I get to call my mom so she knows that I'm okay. So, I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. Sorry, I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me because it was my mistake. Stay on trails, guys. Uh, I don't want to read about any of y'all in the news. I don't want y'all to read about me in the news. So, uh, I know it's kind of a weird ending to an incredible day, but uh, this one's definitely uh, gonna be one for the books. So, I truly mean it when I say it this time. This is Andy Luton from Andy's Travel Blog. Take care out there, everybody. Bye.